Having a solid day-night cycle can be huge on the gameplay of your video game. So choosing one that fits good for your game is super important. One of the newer, more popular approaches to this solution is a day-night cycle that syncs with real-world time. Games like Animal Crossing, Civilization, Teeny Tower, and even some Pokemon games have all started to use this approach. It's becoming more and more popular because it's a unique, fresh idea that puts an interesting spin on your game. I wanted to try this for my video game, and I want to teach you how to do it for yourself. Alrighty, so here I am in a brand new Unity project, and I just wanted to show you two different approaches that I have to this. Both of the links will be available in the description down below to two different GitHub repositories. So the first one I'm gonna show you is a simpler solution, and it will bring you to a tab like this. Um, this is just one script, which will do everything for you, super easy. So we will just download our code here as per usual. And again, this works on Windows or on Mac. So once you are in your downloaded file here, you can simply unzip the file and grab the script and drag it into your Unity project. Once you've done so in Unity, you can create an empty game object and name it something like Day Manager. Now on this empty game object, we are simply going to drag our script and here you can see we just have three simple slots. So the first one is for the sun or your directional light. I'm just gonna drag that in there. Now, there's something super neat with Unity where the skybox by default is already implemented to automatically change depending on the rotation of your sun. So what I mean by that is if you click on your directional light here and <clears throat> you can see the rotation of this object. So when I rotate this X axis, you can see in the background here, the sky automatically already starts to change. And so we're going to utilize that by just simply rotating the sun depending on the time of the day. And so <clears throat> you can see we can go all the way up to about 180 degrees here, all the way down to zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our time and convert it to 180 degrees and apply that to the sun's rotation. So in this script, all that we need to tell it is the time that we think the sun will rise and the sun will set, and it will do everything else automatically for us. I simply hit play, <clears throat> and it will take the time based off your computer's time, the system time, and automatically set the rotation of the sun. So if you can see, the sun is set to about 61 de uh, degrees here, which is about an hour or two from bedtime or sunset, I should say. If I set the time to something earlier, like six or five, you can see it gets a lot darker, or four. Since it's past four o'clock, you can see it's just black. Or I could also change the morning time to something else as well, and it will automatically set the time accordingly. I like to have it somewhere around eight and eight, because the sun usually on average sets and rises somewhere around 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., but depending on the season of the year, you'll have to keep making sure that these numbers are up to date accordingly. For the second solution, things get a little bit more complicated. Now this is the solution that I use in my video game because I have different regions of players from all over the world that I want to play my game. And so depending on the region that the player connects to, I set the sun and day night to an according time. <clears throat> so in our Git repository here, there's a bit more going on because I have implemented the entire Unity package for you. So if you have Git installed on your computer, there's a super easy way you can just copy this link. And then when you go into Unity, if you have Git installed, you can simply go to your package manager, add a package from a Git URL, and paste that URL that you just copied from my Git repository directly into the project. Once you hit add, it will automatically add it and you can go under your packages window and you can see there is now a day night real life sync system implemented. Of course, if you don't have Git installed on your computer, you can simply just go to the Git repository here and download the files and bring them in independently. Again, all we really need here is the single code script. 
so that doesn't really matter. So once you're in Unity, now with these files, all we need is this one script again. So I'm gonna go back onto my day manager and remove the script that we just had. And I'm going to instead drag on my new script. Now you can see there is a bit more going on here. So I've already added a canvas. All you need to do is create a new UI game object. And I'm going to create a simple text like this that just says location text. Now this is going to tell us the exact time of the day. So I'll actually say like 12.34 or 1.33 or whatever it is, as well as the location that you are currently connected to. So in our day manager here, I'm simply going to drag in our directional light as our sun. I'm going to drag in our location text as our text. And we can have this thing called my selected region. So what I can do here is I can add a bunch of regions that I want depending on where my player connects from in the world. And essentially what we're doing here is saying how many hours the region is plus or minus GMT or UTC time. So for example, I might want to find, uh, let's say China. And so if China is gonna be the first place that I'm gonna connect to, I'm going to go onto Google here and I'm gonna search China time right now. And on Google right here, it'll say it is 725, which is GMT plus eight. And so that's what we're looking for. This number is plus eight. So <clears throat> right here, I've got China and I'm going to write eight because it's plus eight hours from GMT. Uh, let's say I want England. I would do the same thing, simply search, and it would say GMT plus one. <clears throat> so then I would write one, and I can do this for as many time zones as I want. <clears throat> all right, so once I have all of my different time zones in here, I can again set my sunrise and sunset time accordingly. So actually the sun is setting more around nine o'clock right now. So I will set that, and then that is all that I need to do. When I hit play in the game, it will now say the location of where I am currently located and the sun will set accordingly. So in China, it is 7.27 a.m. and you can see the sun is right what it would look like because my current selected region is zero. So if I set it to one, you can see England is 7.27, there's no sun up. Let's go to the next one. Kingston is 10.27 a.m. and so on and so forth according to the amount of time it is plus or minus GMT. Japan, San Jose, etc., etc. Again, this is the system that I have applied in my Unity game and it may not be the best fit for you, but this is a great starting place to get started with syncing your in-game time to real world. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.